Elite Drive Helix 57Ds. And what you want to hear is that free hub. And I got you, bro. All right, y'all. I just got done riding, and man, they are here. The Elite Drive 57Ds. Oh my goodness, I have been waiting on these wheels. I ordered these March 29th, the day they released. Um, and I've just been waiting, man. So they are here, and we are going to open up these wheels and see what's inside. Very excited. Very excited. All the specs and all that stuff, I'm not necessarily going over all of that. I'm just going to show you what these wheels look like. I wanted something different. I didn't want something that everyone else had. And uh, don't be talking about my Crocs, man. <laughs> and these fit the build, man. They got the wavy design. Oh, my goodness. They looking good. They are looking good. I'm going to tilt this box down and see if I can zoom in a little bit for you all so you can kind of see more. Oh, you see a, a good bit already. Let me just tilt you down a little bit. Yeah, about right there. That should work. Give you just a little more zoom. Okay, let's see what's inside this box. So, right off the bat, all right, let's see what we got. Now, this bag is pretty nice, bro. Ooh, I like this bag. Well, it's not even like a bag. It's kind of more like a, kind of like a styrofoam cover, so to speak. Got some foam in here, some more foam. Let me empty out this box. All right, so this little stuff, I wanna say this is probably, yep, these are spare spokes because this wheel set has carbon spokes. They come through with the Elite water bottle. I do wanna see what this looks like real quick. Oh, I'm feeling it. Like a smoke black. That's pretty clean. Is my zoom working? Oh, it is working, yeah. Got that smoke black on there, like that. Uh, what is this? Inside here is this little bag right here. Open this joint up. And it is your warranty information, your product manual. Put those to the side. What is this? Oh, okay. And these are your lock rings. Now what everyone wants to see, the wheels. Ooh, they look good. Look at this. It's got a marbled, very gloss shine. Oh my goodness, it looks good. It looks good. I'm feeling this, man. These are going on my Factor Austral van. Man, the hub looks really good. Let me get y'all some zoom so y'all can see. Look at this. Yeah, that looks really good. Wow. Yeah, it looks really good. And this is like that marbling I was talking about. How it looks. And it's got, I got the one with the gold decals. You can get black decals or gold. And I got the gold. It looks really good. The spokes look really wide. And this is a carbon spoke as well. You do not need any type of rim tape. They are already ready to go. It's got the um, tubeless valve already installed because I'm definitely rocking the tubeless joint. Man, yeah, that looks really good. Ooh, it looks really good. And it looks really good. Oh man, it looks really good. This is the rear wheel. And let's check out the front wheel. The front wheel looks, oh man, this is a good looking set of wheels. Man, this is the front wheel. Like I said, I got the gold decal. It's got that kind of marble look to it. 
Yeah, they look really nice, bro. Really nice. I'm feeling the carbon spokes. Said this is kind of like what the hub is looking like. Man. And as far as replacing these spokes, if you got to, it looks like you can, let me see. These wheels can be trued. You can have the adjustment right there with your spoke wrench. And then if you need to pull them off, they'll pop right out. So if you got to replace a spoke, I do not think it would be that difficult at all. Same thing, you do not need any tubeless tape. It's got the valves on there. And this is a nice tubeless valve. This one has the four channels on there so the seal it can go through. I really, really like that. Man, this is a good looking wheel, bro. Now, I wonder what this hub sounds like. That's what everybody wants to hear. Let me get, let me get a little spin. Ooh, let me get a little spin, let me get a little spin. Oh yeah. This is <laughs> this is gonna be dope, bro. This is gonna be dope. And what we need to do is weigh these jokers and see how much they weigh. Let me grab my scale real quick. All right, I got my scale zeroed out in grams. Now the claimed weight of this wheel set is 1,300. 80 grams plus or minus, right? So 1380 plus or minus. These wheels should be a total uh, 1350 grams between between 1350 and 1410. So let's get this first wheel on here. See how much it weighs. We are at 643 grams. So y'all can see 643 grams. I don't want to focus. Anyway, 643 grams for the front wheel. All right. Put this back up on the tripod. And let's weigh the rear wheel. Now, be mindful that the, valve, the valves are installed. The tubeless valves are installed. Doesn't need any tape, right? This one weighs 800 and 32 grams, get y'all on there, 832 grams. All right, so total weight is 1475, right? So that is more than the claimed weight. The claimed weight uh, plus or minus the 30 grams is supposed to be no more than 1410. They did not weigh in at 1410. They weighed in at 1475. Um, I'm a little salty about that because I really wanted to be like in that dang on um uh, I can't even think right now. In that in that 1300 gram mark. That's what I really wanted to be in, man. I really wanted to be in that 1300 mark because I'm trying to get my factor Austrovam down to the UCI weight limit of 6.8 and I needed some 13 and some change um, grand wheels. But we are here and these are the Elite wheels, the Elite Drive Helix 57D. I thought about going with the, I wanna say it's like the 4060 or the 47D, the one that's just like a little bit shallower, but I went with these because I figured it was like the best of both worlds. I couldn't go wrong. I'm usually riding like 50 deeps and these are just a little bit deeper than the 50 in the rear and a little bit deeper uh, in the front. And with that wave pattern, you know, you got the shallow part and you got the deeper part. So man, this is a really, really good looking wheel. I have never ridden a carbon spoke wheel before. This will be my first time. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what this wheel is going to do. This is just a quick unboxing, showing you what's in the box, showing you what the wheels look like. And I will do a more in-depth review, talking about how I have them configured, what tires I'm using, rotors, and all those stuff. But right now, right off the bat, this, this is where we at. Yeah.
I'm out.